It's showtime. There's bagpipes in this song. Neat! Hey everybody, it's the d Rock 100 and welcome back to more of Pokemon Sword. Last time, we went through the rest of Sir Chester, we took on the gym, and we... Oh, there's a thunderstorm somewhere in the wild area. What? Okay, wait, 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 wait. hold on. I want to see that real quick, because... Well, anyway, um, we also got the ability to use our Ronan bike to tread through water now. Whoa! Um. That is a big ass storm. Like, I don't know if it's like because, like, Yeah, now we're going to be seeing some Pokemon that are just as strong as ever. Whoa! Hi, Manetric. Where did you come from? <laughs> but yeah. Uh oh, you know what? Never mind. I actually have this backwards. They actually become more stronger if you have more gym badges. But we now have access to two more locations out here. But we're actually going to be dealing with this location a little bit later. Well, anyway, back to what I was saying from before. This time, we go through the rest of Route 9, and we head south. But, there's one more thing I want to show you guys. Because, I'd like to introduce you all to the final member of my team. Blue Flare the Darn Manitan! Yeah! So, this is the Pokemon that I was hoping to find in the last episode. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. <laughs> There's like no special offense stats. <laughs> it's like half of them is speed and special defense. That's cute. And, no, oh, God damn it. Alright, um... I believe, if my memory serves me correctly, I'm just gonna do this. How do they say catch up with the rest of the team? We gotta learn the move Thrash. Uh, yes, I would like to learn the move Thrash to get rid of Uproar, which is very much required. Yep, this guy and I are going to him to be doing his song. Doing a little bit of some nice, have fun times together. Um, now I want to check one tiny thing. Oh, even better, even freaking better. I like how it's like dancing in a ball. It's a ball by him with the music. A Lauren Darn Manitan! Man! This thing could really just let the whole world have freeze from this. And yes, I will gladly take Icicle Crash. Uh, let's see. Um. Hmm. Belly Drum, get out of here. Even though the Belly Drum sounds like a good move because it just maximizes your attack stat by six levels. The trade-off for that is that you lose half of your HP in the process, so... Tempting, but nope. So, coming back into Route 9... Now that we've gotten the ability here to tread on water... We have two new Pokémon for us to talk about. 
And I now want to take a moment to talk about those two Pokemon very quickly. And those Pokemon, starting off for probably one of the more defensive one of the group, Quillfish! I actually kind of like little Quillfish this time. I actually consider this to not only be a very underrated Pokemon, but one that actually has some abilities and for it works in both variations of single and double battles. It can, strangely enough, it can learn Thunder Wave through TM, which is very nice to say the least. Plus, Poison Point has a potential chance of poisoning your opponent from sending it out. And of course, Intimidate speaks for itself. All in all, Quillfish is pretty good. If you are literally looking for it for a water poison type that I guess some of the past ones might have disappointed you, which why would a couple of them would? I actually would recommend little Quillfish. It may sound weird, but give him a try. Finally, we have Mantike! A pre-evolution that requires a fusion evolution. More specifically, I'm not but we'll talk about that later. Um, this thing is probably one of the best special walls you will find in the game. I will warn you, though. It isn't going to be a little bit of a good while until you manage to get to that. But if you can pull that off, congratulations. You will have one of the best special tanks in the game. Um, kind of bringing it down a little bit more with this thing as a Pokemon. If you plan on using it, of course you're probably want to use Swift Swim for the ability. Everything else is kind of lackluster at its finest. I'm not saying that it's bad. I'm just saying that it's a little, little bit situational. Um, I guess the only real big thing to really be careful of it is watch out Tinder for the is that use physically offensive electrified moves like Thunder Punch and Thunder Fang. Other than that, have fun! Okay, I know what I'm doing may sound stupid. But I also don't want him to try and hit to level up on my team a little bit. And even though I'm going up against the Glalie that's pretty much like 10 levels higher than me, this is something you're going to be expecting to see later on down the ropes in the wild areas. Especially since that you're not going to get into locations and that you yourself can, can now have access to if you've been following along. Oh, freeze dry. Ha! <laughs> Joke's on you! Yeah! Whoa! Oh, you have an ability that actually helps... Ugh. Balls on the frickin' sack and plant it on the wall. Not quite sure if I intended that I need to be... Poetry, I guess. Oh, wait, okay. Since when was that poetry? How is that poetry? Hello and welcome to the episode, everybody. <laughs> uh, you know what? Hmm. You know what? Forget. Oh. Yeah, I was about to say, sheer cold? No, thank you. Test you out! Okay, even though the one I'm doing may seem like I'm wasting time, but I kinda want Blue Flare to actually have a chance to shine in battle. And. HA! Get over here! It may not be the same type of attack bonus, but I don't care! Worth it! Uh oh. Yeah! How about them apples? Nino! 
And suddenly I'm Daisy! Alright, this time for real. Let's head south. Come on this way. We are now at the next point of Sir Chester Bay. Ooh, the zoom lands. Oh. <sighs> Me thinks I might have found a counter. Oh yeah, come here, zoom lands. You're going right on my flare. That sounds weird. But then again, I'm a weird guy, so I better counter after that in more ways than one, so what does it matter? Anyway, um, here's Sir Chester Bay! We actually have a handful of Pokemon to talk about, and don't worry, we're almost done with the worst of it. So, let's get to it. First up is Barbarical! Can I just say... Uh, what? So... Okay, we have a Rock of Water type that has some really good abilities and that makes it one of the best um, physical sweepers in the game. That Tough Claws then comes up with its physical offensive moves. Sure. Um, so, what's the problem? As much as it pains me to admit this, this is a Pokemon that I feel like is trying to be good, but it's still kind of outclassed even at this point in the game. If you've already gotten one here from before with its pre-evolution, then I think you're probably going to be better off with something else. I just see that as decent as it is, but very outclassed. Then again, you gotta put up with a lot of weaknesses and that it does have, so... Whatever. Next up is actually one of my personal favorites. Bergmite! A pure ice time defensive wall. I used a one in the past, that's why, and it served me pretty well. The only real big negative, and I mean this is a big negative is that unfortunately it only ever resists its own type and even though that has such really good defense stats it sadly he doesn't quite live up to what most ice types are meant to be that does not mean that is bad i secretly think it's pretty good I personally would think that own tempo might be the best one to go for in terms of single player and ice body in double battles. And sturdy's in no slouch either, because who doesn't like sturdy? All in all, I see this Pokemon as okay for what it is, but it is gonna be a little bit on the situational side. Next up is Topex and the evolution of Marnie. Everything that I kind of said in about his pre-evolution applies here in a way. Nope, that I said in a way. While it does have some of the best defense and special defense stats you will see out of most poison types, it comes with a signature move known as Baneful Bunker. This is usually a move that is learned from when it fully evolves. This makes it so that you are protected here from attacks, but in addition, you are also going to be making your Pokemon be poisoned if they come into physical contact with it. Kind of similar to that of Spiky Shield. With interest. And I mean a pretty big amount of it. Honestly, you're probably going to be better off than if it was some other kind of poison types at this point, but I'm not saying that it's bad. I'm just saying that it's just a little all over the place. I feel really bad here for some of these Pokemon because, I, like I said, I want them to be good. This is a Pokemon that unfortunately falls under this category that I want it to be good, but it's kind of outclassed. It's not useless, but I only ever recommend this as a wall 
and use that baneful bunker well. And of course, Merciless is probably going to be one of the best abilities to go for, so have fun! Probably one of the strangest sort of Pokemon that can only be found out here is Delmise. So at first glance, you may have thought this would be a Water Steel type, right? Right? Wrong! This is a Ghost Grass type that is one of the strangest of Pokemon that I think should probably be taken into consideration. It comes with a signature ability. Actually, excuse me. Yeah, it has a signature ability and a signature move. The signature move in question is Anchor Shot. This is an eating hit power, 100 accuracy, physical steel type moves that prevents the Pokemon from fleeing. Kind of like with Mean Look, but you're damaging it in the process. I personally think that that's not a bad move. One problem though. It's slow as a brick. Or I guess in one case... Slow as a sea cucumber? Whatever. But what's really nice is that it has a signature ability here known as Steel Worker. This all it really does is just powers up steel time moves. But that I'll say, yeah! Anchor trying getting that booster from that ability? Who can say no to that? Well, I guess those are don't like steel type moves, so. I guess it'd be really hard if I want it by all means. But it is a little bit hard to catch, though. And that Anchor Shot sounds good, but good luck when you're using it on Pokemon that practically don't flee at all in this case. Yay! Next up is a Clopopus and its evolution of Grappalock. Um, Grappalock can be found as a wandering Pokemon, and it's evolved with the use of the move Taunt. But... Let's get into something that actually makes this thing a little bit more worthwhile. You have a signature move known as Octolock. This is a status and fighting type move that not only prevents the Pokemon from fleeing, but this lowers the defense and special defense stat every single turn. So in other words, it's making the Pokemon become more squishy by just squeezing the juice out of him? Something about what I'm saying don't sound right. But all I'm really trying to say is this is a really good Pokemon that I think is really nice but I still think that this is one that should work in a few different ways. But it's one of the strangest and fighting type Pokemon out there. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's really good to say the least on how it works. I just don't feel like it's outclassed by a lot of other fighting types. All in all, I guess that if you really want it, you kind of already have some good fighting type Pokemon that were given to you before, but it's weird to say the least. Um. Remember Raid? Why did you appear after we got to see our evolution of, uh, of artillery? Well, I guess it whether you wanted to remember her, the weird fish that turns it into an octopus upon its evolution. Eh, it's like you haven't seen any weird things over it as it is. Not much more needs to be said about this, but the only real good thing that I can say about it at this point is that. It's a really good unit for evolving a man tag into its evolution, which we'll talk about in just a moment. But the fact that it goes from fish to octopus, I will never, and I mean never, understand. I should point this out, Remoraid can only be found through fishing. Uh, excuse me, surfing. Surfing. Next up is through surfing is our good buddy Mantine! Hey, remember man I that stuff from earlier? Well, here it is. You can find this evolution right here, but it is a little bit hard to find at first because they'll be breaching the surface, but... It's not to say anything as bad as it is. Everything that I said about it applies over with man 
So, it's basically just here, just more powerful and more defensive. Coming up next is Wilmer. This thing? I could give my opinion on it. I really could. But I don't really need to. All I can really say is... Wow, this thing has a lot of HP to the point of where people consider it to be a defensive wall. But... Yeah, I kind of find a hard thing to say about this, but... That deadly water spouser that I learned through leveling up as it well as a, its evolution. It's kind of similar to that of the move Eruption, which does more damage depending on how much of your HP that you have. So, given a Pokemon with some HP like that, don't lie. That's good. I mean, that's really good. I, but... I only ever recommend this and to be used as a wall and be it as it isn't from there. And finally, I saved probably the most beautiful one for last to become somehow only find through fishing. Oh what am I kidding? Let's just get right into him. Or I guess her in this case. Lapras! This is a Pokemon that I think needs no introduction. A Water Ice Time that is probably the better wall over Whalmer. And can I just say, wow, this thing is really good. But the only real big negative that I have to say for this, it only ever resists its own types. It's not in any way bad to say the least. In fact, I consider this a Pokemon to be very good, but unfortunately, it came a little too late. I feel awful for saying that about Lapras. Yeah, Lapras! Of all Pokemon that I would say that to, just why? Ugh. At least it'll be just safely saying that his population has been heavily restored and no longer on the verge of being um, extinct. All in all, if you want a water time, even though that it came a little too late, Lapras is a phenomenal choice. Plus, it's so cute. Heck, even a bit of a cool trivia. This is Veronica Taylor's favorite Pokemon. The original voice actress for Ash in the English dub. Can you say great treatment? I hope so. Okie Alright. Whoa! I guess I just swam right over a Mantike. But yeah, this is how you find both Mantike and Mantine out here in the, um, Sir Chester Bay. But sometimes they could be swimming in together, so... Just... Can I take that in a little bit into consideration? Okay, day, okay, day. Everybody here, have fun now. Um, actually, now I'm thinking about it. I want to check something real quick. Huh? Oh, you know what? Um, actually, do I even have any more? I don't even remember looking the right. Oh well, maybe I'm, maybe I'm just so okay, kind of overthinking something. I'm also trying to get Blue Flare to get kind of caught up with the rest of the group, so... See how we're going here, and why are you guys in a, wearing swimsuits on a place like this, or where you should be freezing your skin off? Well, yes, it is a beach, but I don't like how I have the guy just like facing away from them in shame. It's like, yeah. okay. <laughs> Let's see. Um, okay. 
Carter. Maybe I should get them final another grab block. I get them before. All right, so um, let's, let's go for an icicle crash. Go for the same type of attack bonus. Nice, just nice. <laughs> Just one shot at this guy. Alright, uh, let's see. I'm gonna try my best to, to avoid... Whoa, excuse me. Uh, let's go to here, we got an item. Max Revive, I'll take it. Thank you. Whoa, hey, 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 hey. Back at the beginning, this is where I fought that first hook crap lock, and that's a Wanderer. Whoa, hey, a what? Well, I guess if you want to have find a man in time in the stupid way possible, there you go. Um, actually, you know what? Do I even have any quick balls? Let's try a dive ball just to be funny. I would have laughed so hard if I actually caught it. And also, ha! Jokes on you! You you can't do diddly squat with this. Bye. Beep beep beep. <laughs> Boom. Um, oh, there's more to this. Okay, let's come around here. I don't want to interrupt these Wilmers. Got a protector. Um, come around here. Um, wait, what's this? Oh, okay, this is just a grassy location. There's a cute little one right there. You know, at first glance, when I first saw that Pokemon, I immediately thought that it was an albino and uh, artillery for a moment. I mean, don't lie, it looks like one. Albino. Got a normal gem right there. Um, some of these trainers are just take care of off screen. They're just there to grind levels. And, oh, hello. TM22 Rock Slide! Yeah! Well, howdy, how, how. Alright. Come on this way. Whoa, we gotta I did not mean to Alright. Talk to Pax. So if I were a betting man. To be fair, I honestly thought Tenet, that it was going to use Baneful Bunker on that one. That's all. Try it. And wait. Wait a minute. What? Alright. Yep. 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 You know what? Now I'm a pissed. And I am, I am a Lepiest. Because you know why. Oh boy. Go for the Thundershock. Yeah! What you get? That was the limit of the water type. Can 
I think you might need to get some get some help there. Pearl right here. Finding a lot of nice items. And now we're on outer spike move. Got the scope lens! Oh yeah, come here, my little treat. Alright. So this is now it takes us right back to Route 9! Alright. What? Why did I think that I, there was no trainer out this way? Alright. You asked for it! BOOM! Oh. Okay, maybe I kinda deserve that. Yeah, like I said, I might have kinda deserved that. But, that's okay! Yeah! Don't worry. Just like Cheap Trick, we're all alright. <laughs> I can't believe that hooker's been around for well over 50 years now or something like that. Very popular back in the 70s. Oh, Has seen me in, eh? Okay. I'll play your little game. Go for a laser focus. Because this is a really nice uh, combination that I'm going for. In fact, I'm actually kind of considering giving... Um... Hartim the... Scope lens. So I don't know how to constantly rely on using laser focus at the beginning of every turn, making it vulnerable, but. Oh wow. Tan, <laughs> you're using bulk up! Buddy, I don't think you're gonna survive this coming turn, so. Bye bye! I like how his fanning animation it, it trips on his own ball. Oh, Poltergeist. Why do I get to see this Pokemon? So yes, this is the, the evolution that I was talking about from long ago. But it's useless. Even with one that's not even the same type of attack bonus, so... Mean, I mean, I mean. Alright. Oh, don't get so hopes up on yourself. Alright. So now we've officially made a bit of a full lap around here. We are back here in... Monostoke City? Remember this is what it's called? Hammerlock, never mind. Oh, right, Motostalk is actually at another location from south from us, so I am going to heal really quick. And then I want to check something on our new buddy, Blue Flare. See if we can maybe potentially remember any good moves. Because I have a good feeling about this. Oh. Ah. Mmm. Ice Fang, you say? As much as I'd like Blizzard, eh, it can go. Alright. Uh, let's see. 
That workup huh, could come in handy, so... You know what? Yes. Um... Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll skip out on that this time. Alright. So now that I'm done officially wasting time, let's go. Pretty much heading back to where we're heading for, heading for Spike Mooth. Nothing really for us to see here in the tunnel, which I don't know why that's really a thing, but... Come over this way, though. I'll take care of those traitors later. But... We have a bit of a predicament over here. I can't enter Spike Mooth, so I've just been hanging around this, here this whole time. No one can challenge the Dawn Can Tire Leader like this. What's with the gate being shot? I was supposed to get the gym badge now! Hey, Derek! I'm surprised that no one heard her. Um, so here, nothing. Okay. I was born here, so I know another way in. If you want to get into the town, I better show you the way. But you're my rival, so you have to beat me in a battle first. Got, got it? With pleasure. Oh, great. She looks so annoyed! You've had a bit of a good win streak in the gym challenge, just like me. I respect you as my rival, and all of that. But I got too much at stake to go around losing Nave. This is Marnie! Our second encounter with her! Her first Pokemon is going to be Liper, level 42, pure dark type, prankster for the ability. Fake out torment, nasty plot, and sucker punch. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. I actually never looked at. Nope, I wanted to see the summary real quick. Oh! Gorilla Tactics! Is that a signature ability? I actually didn't know about this, so... This is actually kind of funny. I guess in this case, I'll go for the Ice Fist. Why are you not using Fake Out? Well, I guess in one case it helps, but... Alright. So next up is going to be Scrafty. It's level 43, dark fighting type with shed skin for the ability. With Brick Break, Scary Face, Crunch, and Swagger. She's got a pretty nice arsenal of teams, I will say this. And I mean, a really good team. But not good enough. Yeah, this fight can be a little bit of a joke, but it's really not that bad. Uh, sure. So next up is going to be Toxic Croak, level 43, Poison Fighting type, Dry Skin for the ability. So maybe using this Pokemon was a bad idea. With Venom Shock, Circle Punch, Swagger, and Poison Jab. Yeah, this one was a bad choice, so... Um... Yeah, sure, we'll go for Hydrogen, because Dry Skin doesn't do well with Fire. And I'm gonna pretty much abuse that. But I gotta survive this first. Yeah, I'm good. 
Go for the Heat Wave. Ah, crap. Oh, come on! Dear God. Yes! Kind of forced me to play dirty here. And I don't like playing dirty. Plus, you can't poison me. In fact, even if I hit myself this turn, which I probably will, you can't do squat. Because you're going to keep using poison jab, and that helps me. He pretty much just knocked itself out, so that's kind of her fault. And I swear to God. And now I'm making a face on him, then I'm pretty much showing that I'm now officially done. <laughs> Never mind. Her last Pokemon, more Pico, level 44, electric dark type, hunger switch for the ability, quick attack, torment, spark, and bite. That's expected for my rival. Eh, I was too fast. Oh well. Now, I bring the hammer and bring it down! What's with that? My Pokemon didn't get a chance to really do their thing at all. Ugh! What are you talking about? You did pretty good out there! My partner, Mopiko, has been interested in you and your strength. And I think I get it now. But I've got everyone in Spike World supporting me. I'm definitely gonna get all eight gym badges just so I can have a rematch with you. Don't you forget it. I'll get my revenge in the Champion Cup. Anyway, I promise I'll show you a way in, so follow me. I'll tell you one thing. The moment when I heard that a dark type gym has finally risen to the surface, I was like, FINAL freaking LEE! We've waited eight generations for this, and now you give it to us? Okay. I've been a dark type fan for too long. And many of you guys know this. And... It blew my mind the moment that everyone a dark type gem was announced. And the only real thing that I can say about it is that this place totally and utterly completely sucks. Trust me, it'll make sense to you guys really, really soon. With the shutters closed, no one's going to be able to challenge the gym. I gotta look into this. I just happen here to have too many of these, so I'm just gonna give you one. Got it? You can handle yourself, right? We got a guy named Pierce's lead card. Oi! Welcome to Spike Smooth, kid! Hope you're ready for the gym mission! Hold on, mate. If you're gonna take on the gym mission, you better change into your uniform. If you're looking for the gym leader, he's straight ahead from here. So, we have this guy, Pierce. I actually thought his name was Pierre when I first played this. I was like, oh, wrong region, buddy. So, let's see. Spike Moon lacks a power spot that will allow Pokemon to Dynamax, and thus not many fans come to visit the town. Pierce feels responsible for allowing this town to fall into obscurity and <laughs> dilapidation. Dilapidation? What's with these weird words lately? Once in battle, Pierce intends to get riled up and will often reveal the strategy early on, but he has the strength and skill to triumph regardless. <laughs> However, his true passions are singing and songwriting, and his talents in these fields are well known. 
As such, he currently hopes that his youngest sister will take over as gym leader. I actually think that's kind of sweet. But... Remember when I said that this gym totally and utterly completely sucks? The lack of a power spot? It's pretty much that. And this whole place is pretty much guarded by Team Frickin' Yell. One of the most annoying teams in the series. And that was a critical hit, really? Wow. And Kerp punch you right in the face. Yeah. But yeah. You're gonna be dealing with a lot of grunts. I don't wanna let you through. That's why I was waiting all squeezed in this crack. But since I lost, I was really all for nothing. Whatever, you won, so I guess I'll step aside. Basically, all you're really doing is facing off against the grunt members. It's kind of visible wall. You can't get through it no matter how you try. My one weakness. Mimes. What's this? A gym challenge and gym made it through. Those team young members have blocked the way. Don't think it will let you just let you waltz through. I kind of already did. So, jokes on you, lady. All right. Uh oh. Ow. Anyone else? I feel like we're overtrained for this. If I sure as I think I am. Wasn't able to probably greet you. Oh, get stuffed! That was totally unbelievable. Even my Pokemon here are in awe of you and your team. Here, going through. Check out our neon signs while you're at it. Alright. What are you guys looking at? I'm yelling for no reason! I hope you I hope you realize that that's property damage, buddy! Do not surprise you. I'm a little surprised how my legs hurt from that landing. Yeah, you fell off of a building! Of course you're gonna hurt your legs! If I stand still like this for too long, it'll hurt so I'm bad I might cry. So I'll shake it off of the battle. Dude. I think you might have a problem. In fact, I think all of you have a problem. Big question for that is, who's your original? Because you guys are clearly clones. Clones, I say! Oh. Yeah, that signature ability of a, a gorilla tactic or whatever it was. That's definitely something to take into consideration. I lost my leg pains back, so it's a double shock. Right. Well, it's true that I lost, but I pushed through the pain, so you should praise me for that. Alright, now that the pain's gone, I guess I better get out of here. At least they're generous enough and over with their items. Alright. Now, oh, I believe... Is your Pokemon not looking so good? Damn! I passed that backhand and spring so much, even a pop star would be jealous of these moves. Where's your surprise? Oi! Be surprised, you! 
While you're in under shock, I'm gonna sneakily win this battle. Uh, since when do pop stars ever need to do backflips? Is it even a requirement? Something tells me that sounds like it's not a requirement. And you're gonna have pressure, eh? Okay. I shard. What a shame. Huh? Seriously? You've gotta be kidding! It's over already! What? Yeah, it's called You Using One Pokemon! Should have been practicing my battle skills, not my backflip skills! Thanks for showing me that. Guess I'll cheer for you from now on. That won't be necessary! I don't need a fan club! I need a heal. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I believe the one that's coming up here is a bit of a fake out, so I'm gonna go this way real quick. Team Yo takes the field. This might be the gym challenge, but I won't let you ruin our cool secret hangout. All right, time for a pincer attack. We do whatever it takes to win. Uh, I didn't have enough time to get my disguise ready. That's right. Team Yo is actually made of a spike with gym trainers. Gym Trainer Joshua. Ah, so you're hitting the original. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, do that to you, and then we'll do that to you. Assurance. Oh yeah, that was a bad hit. All right, Lambert's down. Yeah. Blue flare had leveled up, freeze had leveled up, and heart leveled up. Ah boy. Wait, what? Oh come on! Rude. Alright. Uh, yeah, 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 because you're a dark type. Don't matter. Yeah. I'm level 48. I'll gladly take that. It would have been better if I just lost to us. Did I lose to a member of Team Yell, or was I beaten by a gym challenge? Gym trainer, really, but yes. Ugh, whatever. Our gym leader's up next, but he's really strong. Got that? I mean, everybody already knew the true identity of the Team Yell, right? That means I won't get in trouble for not getting my disguise on, right? I sure hope so. All right. I think for this case, oh wow. Start off with you. Trust me, I have a good reason for this. Um that. Um yeah. Heal up my team while I'm doing that. Okay. Shut up, Gob! Oh, Derek! Ugh, I'm really sorry. Love on Spike was telling me that they locked down the city for my sake. Spike is just saying it keeps it getting worse and worse, and all Pierre says it's don't worry. So, so we decided to disguise ourselves as Team Yell and sabotage the other challengers. We thought if we could stop the other gym challengers from reaching the gym, then Mr. Martin would be the only one to win and make it to the Champion Cup. We figured that increased the chance of our wonderful Miss Martin becoming the new champion. <sighs> That's 
That would have helped someone at all. Derek, no need to bother with all the preparations or whatever. Go on in and face the gym leader. Your team sucks! So you're finally here, huh? See, I'm I'm really not a great gym leader. Figured out that's why nobody was coming to challenge me. I have good ears, so I overheard the whole thing about the city being shut up. When I was alone, it was like my soul was weeping. This is a simple gym stadium. You can't even dynamax a Pokemon, but well, I still hope you enjoy the battle. Now then. I'm the gym leader of Spine Mood, Piers, the Dark Time user. You want to challenge me even though you know you'll lose? Then this song's for you, foolish trainer. Get ready for a march pad with me and my party. Spike Mood, it's time to rock. This is the Dark Time gym leader, Piers. You know that I like the guy and I love his name? His gym sucks. They funched up bad. Scrafty, level 44, dark fighting type, intimidate for the ability. Fake out Santa Tank, break break, payback. Everybody cheer on my Pokemon, let's do it! Scrafty, intimidate the opponent! You think that's what's gonna scare me? Break it out! Ha! <laughs> Joke's on you! <laughs> Get missed! This fight is actually not that bad. But like I said, his gym sucks. I was so looking forward to finally seeing a really good dark type gym. But they don't give it to us. Just why? I mean, just ah! Uh, I'm probably thinking of it too much. Um, Malamar, level 45, Dark Psychic type, contrary for the ability. Night Slash, Foul Play, Psycho Cut, Payback. Malamar's gonna mess you all up with this contrary ability. Sorry, but he ain't gonna do shit. Told ya. Wukong's at level 50, I'll take that. Oh! Going for the big gun already, eh? Alright. Obstragoon, level 46, dark normal type, reckless for the ability. Obstruct throat, yeah, obstruct throat chop counter shadow claw. This is the final evolution of Galar and Zigzag Goon, by the way. Time to be another member of my crew! Face the proud High Roar of As I'm Stragoon! I never exactly picked up on the names and how to pronounce them, but here we go. And it's pretty much great. Protecting itself. But it lowers my defense stat. But that's okay. Because I'm bringing down the hammer! Oh. Shit. That's bad. Um, okay, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to use my only max potion. I feel like I don't really need it. There we go. Here's a number I'd save just for this! You learn to stand better cheer me on! Duh! 
things a little bit. Going for the counterattack. Alright, you know what? Even though I'm probably gonna lose this, at least this round, I'm gonna bring it down with me, boy! care worth it worth it all right um heart right, get out there you haven't had much of a chance to fight i think we can have some fun with you his last poke i don't do encores get it not sauce not lose not pokemon his last Pokemon, Skunk Tank, level 45, Poison Dart type, Aftermath for the ability. Everyone's gonna stink, but who cares? Go Skunk Tank, use your Sucker Punch and Toxic! Uh, and don't forget Screech and Snarl. I hear those are pretty important too. But, who cares? We got this fight in the bag. All right, let's go for the wonderful team type attack bonus. Go for the uh, going for the second ouch! No, you'll pay for that. Yeah. Wow. Twice in a row that both sides fainted. That's a first even for me. Piers has been defeated. Yeah. Me and my team gave it our best. Let's meet up for a battle again sometime. You know what? I'll take you up on your offer, bud. <laughs> Glad we were able to battle. Seems like my Pokemon feel the same way. Here's your dark badge. Look how they're all just crying in the background. It's perfectly in sync, too. Here's a uniform, too. I've actually been thinking about just selling them on my concerts. They're just good kills, too. They're good killings. Oh, well, it says Mario's gotta challenge me next, I bet. That was actually kind of sweet. So you were watching, sis. You won't learn anything from seeing me lose. I was watching your battle, bro. It's how I learned to battle and all that. That right. That reminds me. Marty, there's something I wanted to tell you. I want you to take over the gym here and spike me as its gym leader. Yeah, I know. You plan to retire after the Champion Cup, right? I think you can really become a great gym leader, even if you don't Dynamax your Pokemon. I love you, but my answer is a big fat no! I mean, when I end up becoming champion, I won't be able to be a gym leader. Good point. In that case, let your big bro see if you have the skill to be a champion. Hey, Derek, thanks for having an amazing home battle, home, home Pokemon battle with my brother. So it's my turn. So I'm gonna clear it off for a bit, okay? You seem to be peers. Here, a team to remember this moment. Team 85? No. Hey, there's some trouble on Route 9. So bad, even the champions come to sort things out. Oh, hey, you got Piers and Thrasher, didn't you? You should head over there to help. Come on, then. I'll show you the way. Uh oh. Didn't even give you a chance to heal? Oh boy. Derek! Thanks for coming, but I've got a handle on this. Whatever's making that noise, I'll see to it. I already told you, didn't I? 
Keep your eye on the goal. And for that, that's winning the gym challenge. The only gym badge left is the, is the one you'll get from the Dragon Hen gym leader, Ryan, right? Ryan is the only trainer out there that I consider a real rival. He's that good, you know? And there I go again. Sorry, but, but I suppose this is a no time for me to be stopping for a chat. It's a bit of a trouble in here with my name on it. But don't you worry about a thing. The unbeatable champion is here to look after things and keep you all safe. That kind for the tunnel, wouldn't you say? Seems I'm about to have a champion time! Well, I think we could look into that. I don't think we could do something like that. But I think we're actually going to pause it here for the time being. Because not only do I Pokemon need some tender loving care, which I don't even know that we could be leveled up at this or healed up at that point, but I ain't taking any chances, damn it. Um, I believe we now can buy max potions here. You know what? I will take a few max potions. You can never tell when these things could come in handy. Look, I got money burning in my pockets. I'm pretty sure I could do something with this, alright? And, and of course, max repels. But I kind of find the repels in this game to be useless at this point. But... I guess with all that said and done, next time, we head out to Hammerlock to see what the HE Double Hockey Stick is happening out there. See you guys then.